Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats. We're here in Republican City, Nebraska, and also Glen Elder, Kansas. And today we're super excited to show you the new 2019, this is the 1875 crossover. Uh, we say this every year, but every year it just holds true. This is our number one selling boat. It's been our number one seller every year since dating back to 2012. Um, there's really no big secret why it's so popular. This boat is just one of those models that just fits just about everybody's needs. It does everything really well. It fishes really well. It does water sports really well. Um, by far the most versatile boat in their lineup. Um, it just kind of appeals to everybody. Uh, it's very budget friendly and they hold their value so well. Um, a, a lot of uh, buyers for this boat are those dedicated fishermen. Like we sell this to a lot of guys that are, that are dedicated fishermen that have no desire to do water sports. They buy this boat because it's a great big water deep 19 footer with tons of storage. Um, and again, great resale value, uh, very budget friendly, okay? Um, you know, the other type that we sell this to will be a family guy. You know, the families that really need a boat that will do everything, that will fish really well, does water sports really well. This does that amazingly. Uh, we have a lot of, of dads that buy this boat and they will fish a walleye tournament on Saturday with it and then they'll take the kids out Sunday and go skiing and tubing. So it's, again, very versatile, really doesn't have any weaknesses. If we could only sell one model, if we had to pick one model to sell, this without hands down would be the one we would choose. Um, now they have a plethora of different color options. The crossover has its own co unique color options to the crossover lineup. We're looking here at a black silver and I hope the sun will show you how the, it has this gunmetal flake metallic in that silver. So it really stands out, it looks beautiful. This, this what you're looking at here is the black and silver which is probably the most uh, requested color. We try and stock all the available colors and the more, the more in-demand colors we will stock multiples of, which this one would be. Um, I'll grab this color chart here real quick. They have about a dozen different colors that you can choose from. And again, we stock the majority of them, but the, the really popular ones we'll have multiples of. We have another one behind this one, which is the uh, white black, which is another great color. We always have those in stock. And uh, we have some really nice upgrades that they made for 2019 in the canvas. When we get to the interior, I will explain that for you. Let's talk about the outside here real quick. Again, we're looking at a black silver. Let's talk about the upgrades that we put on them on all the ones we stock. The first one's gonna be the 3D Chrome LUN logo, okay? I highly, highly recommend this option. It's inexpensive, it really sets the boat off well, and it adds resale value to the boat. So I, I would never recommend someone get the crossover without that feature. The next upgrade on the outside will be the custom trailer upgrade. Okay, so on the custom trailer, you can see we have the really good looking steel diamond plate fender as part of that upgrade. It's got the black mag wheels, which is a better looking wheel than what the standard trailer would be. The, the custom trailer is gonna give you standard spare tire and load guides. And then the whole frame, of course, is rhino lined. It's got an armor coat on it, so it's uh, very gravel resistant. Uh, it's gonna have a swing away tongue with disc brakes and then come back here to the rear and you will see um, LED lights and then retractable tie downs. Again, these tie downs are really, really uh, underrated. It makes it very simple to, to tie the boat on and off. And let's look at the back transom on the crossover. You see how wide it is. Very nice wide, wide beam. This makes it really stable. This is why it is a big water boat. Um, the 150 Mercury four stroke has always been the power plant for this boat. Perfect engine to set off the perfect boat because it's like the boat, it's very versatile. It does everything. Plenty of power for your water sports, plenty of power for big water. Uh, it will troll. Now, some of our guys that troll a lot, they will add a kicker motor and that is no problem. We put the kicker here on the port side. The crossover you can see comes standard with what they call the splash pan insert. So for the guys that want a kicker, we simply remove this insert. The kicker is going to go right here on the port side. Okay. Another great feature they have is the integrated boarding ladder option. Okay. So as before, if you remember, the boarding ladders always had to stick out here. This, this gives the best of both worlds. So this boarding ladder is set inside the splash well. A lot of guys like to pull their tubes with a tow harness rather than the ski pole. This allows you to do that because you don't have that platform sticking out. But again, when it's folded down, this actually adds to your rear casting deck. Uh, it's just, it's built into what we call that splash pan insert, but a few years ago they added that fourth step. Okay, so you got four full steps, makes it very easy getting in and out for anybody. Uh, kids, elderly folks have no problem with that extra step there. Okay, so that's kind of an ingenious design. Uh, you're going to get that with any crossover, tie even a lot of the Pro-Vs have uh, kind of a version of that. So, 
Um, while she's outside here, let's look. This again is the white black color. That's another in demand color. If we can just kind of sign in there, those are between these two, these are probably the most in demand colors. But like your blue silvers, uh, your silver whites, your red whites, uh, we stock all of those as well. Okay? Let's hop in the inside and we'll go over the interior really quick. Okay, staying in the interior, we'll talk about the upgrades options. Uh, we always do the vinyl floor with the snap out carpet. So you can see the carpet is snapped down. You simply unsnap this if you're going to do heavy fishing or go salmon fishing, things like that. Just pull that carpet out, it makes the cleaning a lot easier. You can just hose it down. Um, before I forget, one of the main upgrades that they did for 2019, if you look, we always stock them with what they call the sport top. Okay, it's in its hider compartment right now, which is great because this top allows you to have it out of the way. You don't even know it's there when you're not using it. Um, but it's much more versatile now. Now I have that top pitched over here on this other crossover so you can see kind of what it looks like when it's pitched. It's a really nice high top. It's over six foot so you can be standing up under it um, while you're fishing. And the major change they made, if we move up here toward the bow, they basically doubled the walkway uh, hatch on this, okay? So this means really there's no reason to have a bimini top anymore. This literally gives you the best of both worlds. You can see since it's hot out this time of year, you're going to have that rolled up and all that airflow, it acts as a bimini top. If you're out early and late season, of course, you're going to zip that top down, shut the hatch, you know, tie everything down. This will allow you for inclement weather to be a lot more comfortable. And again, you'll have a walkthrough curtain as well that goes underneath the hatch. So that's one of the great upgrades they made this year. They extended or basically doubled the width of the walkway on the sport top. Okay? So let's stay here to the back, shifting gears, staying on the interior of the boat. Um, in all the crossovers, as most of you know, are going to have these flip seats that just flip up and down, just like a tie. -e. You have storage under both seats. Okay? So cranking battery is going to be here with some extra storage. And then this is all dedicated dry storage right here. Okay? Now this is the main primary live well. Now they purposely made this live well larger because doing a survey they found that most guys weren't using the bow live well. So they took the bow live well out to make for more dry storage. This is a full 30 inch live well here, lighted and timed with an LED light. Okay. Now one thing else I forgot to mention as far as the options go, you, you want to make sure and get that hydraulic steering. That hydraulic steering is an upgrade and in my opinion any boat with 150 horse or more should have hydraulic makes it a lot easier to steer for anybody. And for those guys that add a kicker motor, it makes it so much easier steering two motors with hydraulic steering versus the rack and pinion, okay? Uh, back here to the rear, we'll stay to the rear. Now the ski pylon uh, bracket is standard, okay? So this will accept the pylon. This comes as a standard feature. We keep those pylons in stock for the guys that want them because like I said, we sell this to a lot of dedicated fishermen that have no desire to do the water sports. So we'll just keep that separate. So the family guys that want the pylon, we just add that to it, but the, but the um, bracket for it is, is standard. Okay, this is your seat base, so you, for your rear casting deck, your seat's gonna go back here. We have an LED light here. Um, now I have a full dedicated video to some of the sport track brackets, but real quick, I'm gonna talk to you about, we just kind of rigged up this rod holder so people can kind of see what it looks like. So the rod holder's gonna go on this track. The great thing about this is it slides off and you can move it anywhere you want. So these rod holders are not stationary. You can move them wherever you want, lock it down, and then you've got your, the ram mounts of course work really good with this, this system. And uh, we have a full dedicated video uh, uh, talking about all the sport track options. So if you're interested in that, just check out that video which is on our YouTube channel. Um, so again, you have this, and then we also rigged up so, so folks can see what the, uh, the fender looks like. Okay, so the fender kit is like this. It's basically a strap and it has this grommet. So all you do is fold it over top, click it on the button, and it's right there. You don't have to worry about any tying any knots. So that's a handy feature. And the great thing about the crossover, this sport track goes all the way to the inside of the bow. Some of the other models, they only have it in the cockpit, not the bow. The crossover goes all the way around. Okay, let's move up here to the starboard console. The console really didn't change too much. It's uh, same as last year, we have a tilt steering. Now we also upgrade all of our seat pedestals, the air ride seats, so you can move these seats up and down. Uh, it also has a driver's seat slider, so you can slide this and kind of get yourself comfortable. Um, 
kicker stereo is a great sounding stereo that's am fm mp3 bluetooth um, again we have tilt here master switch controls everything um, we always rig each boat for the buyer so the buyers all decide exactly what electronics they want and then we we rig it for them so you know you can put whatever size graph you want which that's going to go on a ram mount right here and then uh, you know again we just kind of do that uh, as requested so if we move over here to the port side we have this like all the ones a big spacious glove box in here okay this is that walkthrough curtain i was talking about so when you shut the hatch this curtain will snap on in between here which again keeps keeps uh, that cold wind from getting in the cockpit if you're fishing early and late in the year okay now the biggest feature my favorite feature of the crossover is this multi-storage compartment this is really what sets this boat off compared to all the other models okay so because it doesn't have tubes in here that makes it multi-storage so a guy literally can put whatever he wants in here the guys that are when you're doing your water sports they're going to load it up with skis or wakeboards my dedicated fishermen that buy this boat a lot of them will stack rods in here you can get up to 20 rods in here when you divide them up or you can pull this out and it's loaded with tackle or you know tackle boxes anchors it's literally for whatever you want to do with it but it's uh you know this is really what sets it apart because there's not a lot of boats especially great aluminum fishing boats that have this feature here okay so we'll cut that and then of course it still has the dedicated rod box recessed above this so you have five rod tubes up here so in a case where family guy he can still have rods in here and at the same time have his uh um floatables and his his sporting stuff in the in the multi-storage compartment okay now another important option moving to the bow you can see this is that bow filler insert this is an option guys and i've seen other crossovers come from other dealers that didn't have this you want to make sure that you're getting this because it's really hard to add after the boat's built because of this slot here but what this does it basically doubles your your uh, surface platform for when you have your seat up here and you're fishing you're going to want this here if you're going to do your tubing and skiing you just pull this out if you want to really spoil them you can get the bow cushions that snap on up here you have grab handles here so it's very versatile but you want to make sure that you ask for this because that for the guys that want to fish up here that's almost a must because that way it almost doubles your your capacity up here so again if we stay to the bow if you look two huge bow storage compartments all dry storage your trolling motor batteries are mounted there's one under each console so your weight is distributed evenly now another thing that we always stock is this premium travel cover okay we're going to always add that to all the ones we stock now another upgrade they made for 2019 if you look in this it actually has a foam pad built in where it wraps around the windshield okay so what that does is sometimes these windshield snaps over time would rub through the canvas they added a foam pad in there to help to help alleviate that so that's another change they made for 2019. so again the canvas here and then the the opening on the sport top two really nice feature changes uh, that change from 18 to 19 so um, I think this covers the video as far as uh, on the 1875 crossover again if there's questions um, anything you can always email us or call us we'll have uh, direct links to that on our on our website or actually in the description box to our website so we'll have more pictures more videos the 2019s are just now starting to trickle in so we'll have updated videos and pictures for you so any questions Terry is in Glen Elder Kansas I'm Travis here in Republican City, Nebraska. Thank you so much.